The word kamikaze is a Japanese word literally meaning divine wind, taken from the word kami, meaning god or divine, and the word kazi translated as wind. The origins of the word derive from an event in the 13th century history of the Japan when a Mongol invasion fleet under Kublai Khan was destroyed by an attacking typhoon similar to the kamikazes. The World War II kamikaze pilots were named in honor of the ancient Japanese victory and launched suicide attacks deliberately crashing their airplanes loaded with explosives into enemy targets, especially the US warships. So sit back guys as we roll down the list of the top 9 interesting facts on the kamikaze pilots. Number 9. Its Purpose the name Kamikaze was used again during the Second World War for suicide attacks by Japanese pilots who deliberately crashed their planes into enemy targets. The metaphor meant that the pilots were to be the divine wind that would once again save Japan from an invasion and was forced to sweep the enemies from the shores itself. Number 8. The Kamikaze Strategy Masafumi Arima a pilot and admiral of the Imperial Japanese Navy during the Second World War is credited with inventing the kamikaze attack strategy. He himself carried out a kamikaze attack at the age of 49. Number 7. The Rituals Before embarking on their suicide mission, a short special ceremony usually took place in which the kamikaze pilots received a thousand stitch chass which they wore as a scarf around their wrist and a white headband called the Hachimaki with a red rising sun in the center was the pride of the kamikaze pilots. Number 6. The Caused Casualties The kamikazes were responsible to cause the most number of allied casualties during the war than any other Japanese weapon. More than 400 Allied vessels were struck by Japanese special attack weapons. 3,480 Allied sailors were killed and another 6,025 were wounded in these kamikaze attacks. Allied troops were now afraid of the kamikaze attacks because there was no way to defend themselves from this impregnable attack force. Number 5. Rate of Success the kamikaze pilots were mostly between 17 to 24 years old, as all the pilots were needed to train these young men, but still only about 14 to 19 percent of these kamikaze attacks actually managed to hit a ship, also because the skies were lit up by tracers shooting down these aircrafts that were often missed off by the interceptors. Number 4. The Swarm of Bees Captain Motoharu Okamura referred to kamikaze pilots as a swarm of bees as they outnumbered the enemy planes with a ratio of 3 is to 1 and this is also because bees generally die after this thing. Number 3. The Training Kamikaze pilots were given a special training for about a single week. In the first few days, the pilots learned to take off then they learned to fly in a formation and the last days were focused in a study and practice of how to attack a target, often on a suicidal basis. Number 2. The Kamikaze Propaganda The biggest question surrounding kamikaze pilots is, how did they get people to do it? Well, they simply asked men to volunteer. As for why someone who choose to die like this comes down to the culture of Japan. In Japan, shame is an important aspect of the society. So if a pilot was asked by a superior to volunteer and if you refuse, it wouldn't just bring shame to him but also to his entire family. And if someone would volunteer and he would die, he would be often promoted up the ranks. Number 1. Battle of Okinawa the biggest kamikaze undertaking was at the Battle of Okinawa, codenamed Operation Iceberg, during which one of the 900 kamikaze troops were deployed. The 82-day long battle lasted from 1st April 1945 until 22nd of June, and more than an estimated 90,000 men died from both these sides, is often described as the bloodiest battle of the Pacific. 
Hi guys, Infinito here. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If so, do smash the like button and feel free to subscribe and stay tuned till I get back to you next week on a Thursday with a completely new video. Till